guys, it's Hatfi. I'm back again with a long overdue tag video. Uh, in October, I did the ABC Untried Challenge on Instagram with Polish Pony, um, Claire Gray, and a few other people. Um, and it was tied to a another tag that was done by Lisa Hendy, which was the, uh, I think it was the A to Z Polish tag. Um, hers was more about what your favourite polishes were. Pony and Claire's was more about untrieds if you had them. So um, a lot of them kind of like combined the two together and I fully intended to do this a week or so ago, only just now getting to it. I am basically just going to go through the polishes that I used in the ABC Untrieds one. Some of these I did really, really enjoy and not necessarily my favourite polishes every letter of the alphabet. But there we go. So I have all of them in my little container here. I will insert the pictures from Instagram of each one of these polishes so that you can see what they look like on the nail. So let's just get into it. The first one that for A I picked Astro Hot which is one of China Glaze's holographic polishes. I really like this. It's kind of slightly pinky purple. It is holographic when it dries down. Really nice polish. The next one I wore was Bouquet from Ultra 3, which is an Australian brand. This is a really beautiful purpley colour with a fairly strong fuchsia pink uh, flash to it. Slightly jelly in nature but builds up really nicely on the nails. The next polish I wore was Cherries in the Snow from Revlon. This was a new polish to me. I hadn't actually worn it or had it before, it's like very new to my collection, but I can see why it's a bit of a cold classic. It is an absolutely fabulous formula, just about opaque in one coat. This is a great polish. Next we have Davy Jones's Lacquer from Pretty Serious. This was one that was in one of my newer purchases. This looks luminous on the nails. It is absolutely gorgeous. Next up is Enchanting, from also from Revlon. This is a very soft purpley colour with a pink shimmer. It really only shows up though when you use flash photography. It doesn't really show up too much in normal sort of circumstances. But it is really beautiful and a pretty good formula. For F I wore Frosty the Snowborg from Pretty Serious. I got this one on sale. It is the brightest silver in my collection. This is a very, very bright silver. Um, tiny little bit brush strokey, but it's still just, I really, really enjoyed wearing this. For G we have Galaxy Invader. This is one of my favourites, uh, even though it's relatively new to my collection. It is tealy coloured with a very strong purple duo chrome shift to it. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really hard to photograph, like, photograph really well, but it is absolutely beautiful. H is also a pretty serious polish. This is Happy Accident. This is one of those polishes that occur when you're trying to make one colour and you kind of mess it up. But it is really beautiful. It's kind of a dark, minty, almost lime green with a matching shimmer to it. Really beautiful on the nails. For I, we have Icy Ice. This is from Essence as part of their Icy Matte Winter Glow Collection. This is a charcoal coloured polish, dries down com almost completely matte, 
Um, it's got little bits of shimmer in it though, so it looks really interesting. In my photo, my ring finger actually has top coat on it, so you can see what it would look like if you wore it shiny. For Jay, we have Joy. This is not a new polish, this is an old one, because I didn't have any untried, so that started with Jay. Uh, this is a dark purple. This is from China Glazer's Romantique collection from years ago. Um, I have probably, I think, four out of that collection. Um, it's a really beautiful, uh, almost metallic polish. The next one for K is Cold Cash from the Kylie Matte Trend Matters collection. It's actually really pretty disappointing. Um, I put a uh, top coat on my ring finger in the photo uh, and you can see that it's really not that much shinier than, uh, or that the nails are not that much matte, more matte than the ones that don't have top coat. Um, there's a fairly strong shimmer in this which is quite nice. Um, I don't mind a satin finish, just don't tell me it's matte. This one literally says matte, some of the others say like demi-matte, so you expect it to not quite be completely matte. Um, I was kind of disappointed, partly because of that, and partly also because the shimmer and flash that is in it does not actually translate to the nail particularly well. And I wasn't hugely keen on the formula on this one either. So that is Cold Cash. For L, we have another pretty serious. Yes, there are a lot of pretty serious in here because I bought a lot of them recently. This is Luminous Doom. This is a light purple polish with kind of tealy colored glitters. They might be blue, depends on your point of view. And silver, it is just, it's a gorgeous looking polish. Uh, very much up my alley. And there is um, Scattered Hollow in this as well. For M we have Magic Touch, which is also from the Kylie's Trend Matters collection. This one is a shimmer matte, apparently. Um, in the picture you'll notice that the nails don't look very good. I bumped them and I did not like this nail polish enough to actually fix it. Uh, it the formula is not good. Um, I it, The shimmer is actually almost invisible, which if it's going to be a shimmer mat, you want to be able to see the shimmer. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm reading my notes, which are on my phone. Um, uh, yeah, it's basically, it's just meh. It's, it's not great. And I was hoping for so much because it is a light grayed, grayed out purple with what looks like a nice light purple shimmer, but it just doesn't, it doesn't translate. Next we have another China Glaze, because I've bought a lot of China Glaze recently. This is another one of their holographics. This one is Not In This Galaxy. This is more of a salmon-y kind of colour. Really, really beautiful. I absolutely adore these polishes from China Glaze. So that is Not In This Galaxy. For O, we have Oil Slick from Ciate, which is one of very few Ciate polishes that I actually own. This is actually really beautiful. It's a gold to green to blue multi-chrome type of polish. Um, it really does look like an oil slick. In the photograph, you see a lot of the gold and sort of the greeny sort of colour around the edges. Um, but I was actually really quite surprised at how much I had actually, I actually liked this and the brush in these is really good as well. For P we have Power Red from Maybelline Color Show's 60 second line. This is the perfect crelly jelly-ish red polish. Absolutely gorgeous. Has that lovely squishy, juicy kind of look to it, um, and I hadn't—I don't have too many of the 60 second line. I have quite a lot of the other ones, uh, but I was super impressed with this one. Really enjoyed wearing it. For 
For Q, I have Quicksand from Sally Hansen's Insta Dry line. I have worn this a few times before. This is not the first time I've worn this. I actually quite like this. It's got a fairly, it's almost a textured polish. It's got quite a lot of glitter in it, um, but not the kind that's really hard to get off your nails. Um, and it's basically a sand colour. It is a polish that I really quite enjoy. So that is quicksand. For R, I have Rose Cashmere from L'Oreal. These are the kind of bottles we get in Australia, little tiny ones. I got this on sale at some point. I don't know what took me so long to put it on my nails. This is a one coat formula. It is the perfect nude shade. It's the kind of nude shade that I really enjoy, which is not a lot of them. Um, it, it looks a bit manky in the bottle because it needs shaking, um, but this is a fabulous, fabulous polish. For S we have Silhouette from Kylie Trend Matters. This one is a demi matte. This formula is very, very thin and streaky. Basically you needed at least three coats to get full coverage. And you have to be super duper careful that you don't flood your cuticles because it does not stay where you put it. It just runs everywhere. So you wipe off your brush really, really well. This was another one of these which I was just completely underwhelmed with. Not impressed with it at all. Uh, I have not been impressed pretty much by any of the polishes except I think On Fire from the Kylie, um, Kylie line of Sinful Colours. So, there you go. For tea, we have Timeless from Revlon. This is quite a thin formula. Built up pretty well in two coats. Three coats would have been better, but I didn't like colour enough to actually bother. <laughs> but yeah, so that's Timeless. For you, we have another Revlon. This is Untamed. This is a black jelly base with coppery gold uh, glitters in a few different sizes inside it. It's very similar to um, a couple of other Revlon polishes that I have, just a different colorway. I did need three coats to actually build it up enough on the nails. Um, but it, the end result is just so nice that I, I wasn't worried about that at all. So this is Untamed. For V, I have Violet Rumble from Ulta 3. This is a beautiful spring type colour, pinky purple. Um, great formula. Most Ulta 3 polishes have a great formula. So this is Violet Rumble. It's actually a bit of a joke if anybody doesn't get it. Um, there's a chocolate bar in Australia called the Violet Crumble. That's why it makes it funny. For W, we have the last of the pretty serious ones in this. This is Wish You Were Beer. This is basically a beer coloured holographic polish with lots and lots of glitter in it. Absolutely gorgeous. Fabulous colour. Formula is great. There's, there's not much else to say. This is stunning. It's an absolutely stunning polish. For X, I actually used, picked two polishes because I have two X polishes. I have XOXO from Ulta 3. This is a very sheer polish with lots of glitter on it. The kind of one you look if you, you use if you just want some sparkle on your nail but you, you don't want to be too in someone's face or anything. Yeah, a good work appropriate or wedding appropriate type of polish. Looks really, really nice. The other one is from B Nails, which is actually a supplier brand. This is the supplier that I use to buy my acrylics and stuff. It's from National Salon Supplies. This is called Xmas Red. Um, it is a full-on red and silver glitter polish. An absolute pain in the behind to get off your nails again after you've worn it, but it does look really, really beautiful.
for why we have yoga then yogurt from Nicole by OPI. This is just a cream. It is a little streaky. Really need three coats to actually build it up, but it does give a nice clean look to the nails. Last but not least, for Z, I could have picked one of my Zoya polishes, but I don't like any of my Zoya polishes very much. Um, so instead, I picked this one from Rimmel. This is called Pink Zindenfell. Um, this is called Pink Zinfandel. It is a beautiful, soft, rosy pink kind of colour with lots and lots of shimmer. It's not an untried. It's one I've worn several times before because I really like this line. And I really like these polishes. So this is Pink Zinfandel. So that is it for this tag roundup type of video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, like the, click the little bell if you want notifications, leave me a thumbs up if you like now polished up videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!